What's up, Moto Buddies? Mike here from Taco Motoco. Today I'm going to show you how to flash the ECU using your Dynojet PowerVision 3 device. And first of all, you've taken it out of the box. It's possible that your unit, when you get it, this connector here, this cord will not be plugged in. You, it's very easy. Just plug that in. Make sure it's seated well. Have your unit here at the bike. A couple of things before you start the process. Make sure that your bike has at least a charged battery or put a charger on the battery. This will energize the ECU. This will draw power from the battery and you don't want to pull that battery down below something like 12.1 volts. I want to make sure it's high, say 13 volts. Once you have your end of the connector here, you'll notice that there, there's a specialized connector here and this is not used for the reflash. These are for accessories that are not covered in this video um, or used to reflash the ECU. You've got a connector here. This goes into the ECU die connector port of the bike. And then this little power connector here, this may or may not be connected together as you get it out of the box. And so go ahead at this point and just make sure that it is connected together. We need to find the diagnostic connector plug on certain years of bikes, 17 through 23. It'll be located here underneath the ECU boot in this little rubber housing and you'll tug that thing out. If for whatever reason it's been removed from the boot, it might be floating around here somewhere under the ECU. You'll notice though that it has the word diagnose on the cord and the, the connector plug will look like this. If you have a 24 plus bike, the diagnostic connector plug will be located on the rider's right of the ECU located under this protective hood. Remove it and then the connector will go into the PV3. Now that you found your connector, go ahead and plug it in. Notice that this has a little keeper clasp here, and then there's one as well on that side of the connector. These will go together. And when you plug it in, a couple things will happen. The unit will wake up. You'll see the flash screen. You also may hear some relays on your bike activate. The, the uh, dashboard may come on. The headlight may blink. So those are all going to be normal conditions. For Once you see the primary greeting screen, we're going to go into the main menu, and you're going to press the center button here. This is the enter. You have an up arrow, down arrow, and then a back. And so we're gonna press enter. That takes us into the main menu. Flash tune is the mode we want, enter. You'll see that there are typically gonna be two maps on your unit. If you have more, we've prearranged to have additional maps loaded on your bike. But in a typical uh, procedure here, you're gonna have two. Notice that this one has STK, that's the stock tune. This is the exact OEM ECU tune. You would use that if you ever wanted to reflash your ECU back to the stock original tune for whatever reason. We uh, want the performance tune and so we'll press the down arrow to select that and then we'll press enter. Enter will take us to this screen where we have notes. There'll be certain written information here about the type of tune and maybe any of the attributes regarding that tune but we're ready to enter ready to press enter because we want to flash that to the bike. So we're going to press that enter button again. And then it'll ask you a final time. Are you sure you want to do this operation? Yes, we do. And it'll take about two and a half to three minutes to fully flash your ECU. On occasion, you might get an arrow code 338 while you're flashing the ECU. This is not a big deal. You're going to press the back arrow to go back to the main screen. You'll hit enter, go back to flash tune. You're just going to want to do it again. And so we go... Oh, in this instance, we go to, this is our performance file. We hit enter and the flashing will begin again. And the flash has successfully completed. You'll see this right complete screen. You are done. You can now unplug the PV3 and go ride your bike. We'll be doing a second video where we will talk about the specific features and functions of the PowerVision 3 using it as a diagnostic scan tool. That'll be in a separate video.